Welcome back, folks, to the show. As I mentioned at the top of the show, very excited to welcome on for the first time to the Golf Unfiltered podcast, Mr. Keith Duffy. He is the Senior Product Manager of FootJoy Footwear. Keith, how are you today? Doing well, thanks. I am super excited to talk to you about a couple new products. Obviously, FootJoy is well known for all of their footwear and many other things, but two things in specific that we're going to talk about today. Uh, the first of which, of course, is a shoe that I've had the chance to try out a little bit, but not on a course yet, and I'm looking forward to it. And viewers on YouTube watching this right now know I'm talking about the Hyperflex from FootJoy. Keith, this is a fantastically comfortable shoe. Uh, tell me a little bit about not only what thought went behind this, but uh, those first few meetings you had talking about the Hyperflex. What, are the, what were those like? It, yeah, I mean, first few meetings dated back to 2017 where uh, we did an off-site meeting with, uh, with our partners at BOA. So all the folks from our design and R and D team and, uh, as well as their, uh, their advanced concepts engineers, uh, we got together and, uh, sat for a few days and, and, and debated and drew sketches and thought about how we could do things differently together. They've been a partner of ours, uh, for a long time. I know we're their, we're their longest standing partner in the golf footwear space. And, uh, you know, we also benefit from the, uh, exclusive agreement of having that heel mounted boa on, on our footwear as well. Uh, and it all just started with, with thinking about providing a better fit for, for the golfer and bringing a, a new technology uh, into the space. I know one of the taglines for the new shoe for the Hyperflex is tuned for golf. What, what does that mean? Uh, well, it, it means a lot, but it, we, uh, we obviously, uh, we're foot joy and, uh, we, we only do golf. Uh, so we, uh, we're very in tune and focused on, on the consumer. Uh, but we want to make sure that everything that we do within the space is, is led through innovation. Uh, and so any new product innovation that, uh, that we do come up with, uh, is, is a golf specific innovation. You know, we don't have, the benefit of of a run specialty category or basketball or tennis. Um, so all of our innovations are are led by golfers uh, and uh, and innovated and engineered uh, specifically for for the game of golf. Uh, and you know, I think a lot of great examples in this shoe are the Stratafoam midsole. So that's a proprietary foam blend mm. uh, that we've engineered um, specifically for walking and the game of golf. So a tremendous amount of underfoot cushioning, uh, great energy return. So at the end of the round, you should feel a little bit less fatigued than you would uh, with a lot of other footwear that's in the space. Uh, and, you know, it works really well with that outsole. So that's an all new OptiFlex outsole. Flex is naturally with the foot. When you had it up there on the screen, you can kind of see yeah. that zigzag serpentine effect, uh, which really allows that, uh, that outsole plate to flex naturally with the foot. And then on the upper, uh, biggest feature there, we, we've already mentioned a little bit with the, with the BOA, with the rapid system powered by BOA. So that that's going to wrap over on top of your foot, mm -hmm. um, alleviating, any, alleviating any pressure that you get from laces. And, and not only does the BOA system with a heel mount pull your foot down and back and give you a better heel lock, um, but with the rapid system, you're going to be better connected to the shoe than ever before. What I really enjoyed about these shoes is that, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's a knit design to a degree and it's very lightweight. It's extremely breathable. That's something that I think is, is really overlooked in a lot of competing shoes where, you know, you want to take this thing off, first of all, after wearing it for X amount of hours on the course, and you don't want to have swamp foot. And I didn't, I didn't experience that with this. So I imagine that was part of uh, the, the design characteristics you were thinking of. Yeah, I mean, it, it's at, it's certainly athletically inspired being an engineered mesh upper, so you're going to get great breathability characteristics. But one of the things that we, uh, it's funny, when we when we first went live on on our social media channels with it in the comments section, uh, it's, a, it's always great to see the response. Uh, and certainly the response has been great in terms of how it looks, uh, but questions about whether or not it's waterproof because it's a mesh and it, it comes with right. a two-year two-year waterproof guarantee, uh, which is pretty awesome uh, to have in a shoe that looks looks like that, that is athletically inspired as it is, uh, that delivers the performance that it does. Uh, so pretty pretty great feature as well. 
You know, the other thing I really like about this, because obviously there's other competitors in this space who offer knit shoes. Uh, what I really enjoy about it is that there's actually spikes on the bottom. You know, there are some that you're not going to have a lot of slippage with this, I would imagine. And I'd assume that that's another uh, feature that you included based on feedback. It, it is. Uh, it is. It, we we have, always have a very broad assortment uh, in our catalog. We have both cleated and spikeless solutions. Uh, with this one, based on the consumer that we were going after, we you know we wanted to to put this shoe in a in a premium performance space, and I think one of the things, one of the features that we thought we could add to the shoe um, to to make sure that the most discerning players would would make this a, a purchase consideration was adding in cleats. But we do a tremendous amount of of research uh, on traction technologies in general uh you know so there's there's a you know you, a number of ways to to, to solve a, a problem um you know i i think we've got a, a lot of great spikeless solutions in our line as well um that uh that offer just as as good a, a, of traction that as hyperflex does but the great thing about having a replaceable cleat is you can do exactly that so when the traction wears out you can renew it and uh and and have that great out of the box traction that, that they had from day one that is such an important quality of golf shoes just the ability to kind of maintain the lifespan of these things because if you love a shoe or anything that's worth there's nothing worse than loving a shoe and then having to get rid of it because the sole wore out, like you mentioned. And in this case, you could just go ahead, replace those spikes, wing, bang, boom. You got a few more years in it, maybe. Sure. So another uh, product that we wanted to talk a little bit about today as well is the Premier Series, which is a new shoe that, of course, Footjoy uh, is offering as well. There's three different collections, as I understand, and they're as a good tour presence, to say the least, with names like Justin Thomas, Adam Scott, Ian Poulter, Max Homa. What could you tell me about the Premier Series? Uh, how much time do we have? <laughs> well, uh, I know one of the taglines is, you know, inspired by then supercharged for now that, that speaks to maybe some, some traditional background. Yeah. So I, having, being the, you know, the, the most authentic brand in the space, uh, you know, we've been making golf shoes since 1910. Um, so we have an amazing back catalog of, uh, of inspiration to, to look at, I guess. Um, and you know, we, we do a tremendous amount of con consumer research. We do a lot of trend research. So, you know, what's going on in the world of fashion, what's going on in the, in the world of footwear in general, you know, from what's being worn in the boardroom to what's being worn on the basketball court or the tennis court. And, uh, and we pay attention to those trends and we've seen, uh, uh an influx of, of, of folks trending towards classically inspired silhouettes with, you know, with a bit of a modern twist of technology and detailing um, just to provide a, a, a fresh new look on, on, you know, classic designs that have been out there for years and, and uh, great for us that we've got that back catalog to, to look at. And, uh, you know, even the Tarlow collection in the new premier series was inspired by, uh, was inspired by the 1927 Ryder Cup team, where we were the, we were the official shoe of the 1927 Ryder Cup team, the very first Ryder Cup played in in Worcester, Massachusetts, where USA was uh, was victorious, uh, and uh, and so that's where the the Tarlow collection uh, was inspired from, with that great cap toe design. Got a very nice modern saddle with the all new Packard collection. Uh, and then the Flint collection is is probably the most modern of the of the three, more contemporary in look and feel. Uh, but I think we did an, uh, a great job in differentiating 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 each category and giving them their own personality. So the upper leathers uh, that we use on all of them have a bit of a different finish. So Packard has more of a a pebble grain or an English grain. Tarlow has a natural uh, leather finish. And then with uh, the Flint, we use a uh, uh, we use our chromo skin that you would find on our mm -hmm. Pro SL collection or Tor X or even Dry Joyce Tor. Uh, so it's uh, great, different leather collections, different looks and personalities from uh, from a feel standpoint, but all have all all share the same technology uh, underneath the foot with the all new Versatrax Plus outsole. Uh, and again, that goes back to all the traction research that we do. Uh, so great, uh, great solution for traction on 
multiple surfaces, all different types of grasses. Uh, and, you know, when, when you talk about the players that you mentioned mm. uh, a few moments ago, you know, we're talking about some of the best players, most recognizable folks in the world uh, and, and they're playing on the game's biggest stages. So we know that uh, we know the shoe needs to perform. So a tremendous amount of research goes into all the traction uh, testing that we do. And one of the other great things about the collection is the amount of choice we're offering. We've already talked about three different upper patterns, mm -hmm. uh, all the different uh, leather options. It comes, uh, the collection comes in both cleated and spikeless options. Um, you know, so there are, there are regions of the world and, and certainly regions in the country where spikeless shoes are preferred uh, and being the leaders in, in golf footwear and, and enjoying the, the market share position that we do. Uh, we want to make sure that we've got, something for everybody you know we know that that market share is not it's not owned it's rented mm -hmm. uh and, and we we go to work every day uh you know thinking only about golf footwear and, and trying to trying to innovate and do things that will be welcomed by the consumer will be welcomed by the trade to make sure that we can retain that position as the number one shoe in golf you know it's it's interesting you talk about playing on the biggest stages as and as i understand it the 2020 Masters was a huge stage, of course, and FootJoy, specifically this Premier Series, had a, a, a pretty uh, premier presence there as well. It did. It, it, uh, it is certainly when you think about the the scope of of the project overall. I mean, Icon and Dry Joys are are going away. They're no longer going to be part of our lineup. And when you when you add up the number of players who were wearing Icon and Dry Joys, if you just made that one shoe category. Uh, they it, that would be the number one shoe on tour, and that mm -hmm. was that was in fact what happened at the Masters this past year, uh, where Premier Series was the number one shoe of choice at the Masters, followed closely behind Pro SL. So Premier Series displaced Pro SL uh, at the Masters, and on any given week, either one of those categories this year are going to be number one and number two. And what what an amazing story that is! Uh, you know, you've got two very different approaches from a design and traction standpoint with both categories. Uh, and you've got the overwhelming majority of players on tour wearing one or the other. That's true, truly a testament to all the work that you guys do behind the scenes to make these shoes available for everybody else. When are the premier series going to be available for everybody else? Premier series are available March 1st and uh, get them while they're hot. They, they're, uh, they're in high demand. Um, it, it's been a really fun category to work on. You know, I, I think whenever you have a conversation about foot joy and, and I, I did spend a little bit of time in my career outside of, uh, outside of the brand in, but whenever you think foot joy, you think about foot joy classics. And mm -hmm. when you're having the, that, those conversations with somebody who, you know, they remember their first pair of classics or they wish they had a pair of classics. Uh, and they just, it, it's such an emotional conversation. And we want to make sure that when people see Premier Series for the first time and pick them up off the shelf in, in their favorite golf shop, that they get that emotional connection that they might have gotten with classics back in the day and just really appreciate not only the craftsmanship, but the technology that's in the shoe. They're, they're beautiful looking shoes. Uh, the response to them so far has been tremendous from tour players and uh our expectations are that uh that everyday everyday hacks like uh like myself uh would be uh would be just uh just the same so we're looking forward to a good year oh i'm totally an everyday hack as well sir so i uh, i look forward to trying those out as well and i also understand that you can uh, customize those to your liking using your my choice program yeah, it, it, talk about more choice, right? So you've got already this this amazing uh, collection of golf footwear, and you can go to myjoys.com and customize both the Packard and the Tarlow collections. Choose out the leather, uh, pick the leathers that you like, pick the colors that you like, add some custom monogram or embroidery uh, under the shoe as well, and 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 really make it your own. Um, but I think uh, certainly the shoes are going to make a, a statement whether you go my joys or whether you you buy something from the catalog. Either either way, uh, on the first tee. You'll have your uh, you'll have your your foursome looking at what's on your feet. Well, both options sound absolutely fantastic, and as I mentioned earlier, I'm looking forward to getting them out on the course. And Keith, you know, one of the things that we'd like to talk a lot about here on the Golf and Filtered podcast is just experience working at the brand that you're that you're at currently. And you had mentioned that you've spent some time outside of Footjoy, and of course, you're associated with them now. 
what what do you like most about what you do every day? Oh wow! I, <laughs> again, I don't know if we have enough time, but there's uh, there's you know I grew up playing the game of golf uh, in Massachusetts. I was a competitive junior player. Uh, I played collegiately at uh, the University of Connecticut, and then I transferred to Methodist University in Fayetteville, North Carolina, one of the best PGM. I would argue the best PGM school in the country. Uh, and, uh, you know, so I, I get to work in, in the game that, that I love so much, you know, I, I've had one job in my professional career outside of the golf industry. Um, so how lucky am I to get to, to go work for the number one brand, uh, in golf footwear every single day. Um, one of my, you know, I had, I've been with foot joint now almost five years. Mm -hmm. uh, I spent almost five years on the golf ball side at Titleist as well. in uh, in the early two thousands, 2003 to 08 as well. And so then I was gone for eight years and, and lucky me, I worked for the, uh, the other number one brand for the, for the sport that, uh, that I love so much in the game of hockey. Oh, nice. Uh, where I worked uh, for Bauer Hockey for for uh, had a very good run there as well. So uh, very, very similar com companies, a lot of passionate employees about what we do and um you know just you know lucky, <laughs> it's yeah. lucky. well i'll tell you not only the, are the employees passionate i mean i've got many friends who are hockey players and talk about a passionate fan base as well yeah <laughs> yeah for, for sure uh yeah it, it was uh it was a lot of fun certainly a uh, Living, uh, living in in the Boston area, and uh, having the Bruins have the success that they have over the past, oh geez, they've been been the top of conversation since uh, since twenty eleven when they won last. But uh, yeah. but they've got a good team, and uh, you said you're Chicago, right? I am. Yeah, the Blackhawks. They are not looking great this year, but you know what? We had a good little spell there for a bit. I've uh, I've got a sign skate from uh, from Patrick Kane in the in the back over there. Uh, that is good for you. Yeah. Got to work with him and Jonathan Taves a little bit. So uh, when I was at uh, when, I, when I was at Bauer on the skate side, so yeah. nice, nice. So what are you looking forward to most this golf season? Obviously, you've got one of those unique uh, situations, as many people who come on the show do. You work in the industry, of course, but you're also a fan of the game. But uh, you and I are both in similar climates right now, as I understand, with the snow on the ground. But what are you looking forward to most this season? Uh, it, at the game's highest level on tour, I mean, it, the majors are always exciting to watch. And, and you know, the, the fact that, uh, you know, we saw some fans come back uh, at Waste Management, hopefully that's a trend that continues. Um, but, you know, for me, it, it, with, with the world hopefully returning to normal a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'd love to see the game of golf sustain the excitement and attention that it got, uh, you know, over the past year with, players coming back to the game and new players coming into the game because it's something that you can do and go outside and get your exercise and socially distance and, and still have an opportunity in a venue to, to, to compete. And I, you know, I think hopefully um, those who come back and those who tried it for the first time stay. Um, yeah. It's a great game. Um, and, you know, yeah, that, that's what I think I'm excited about about most. And then selfishly, you know, from from a, a work standpoint, I'm excited about you know having the best footwear lineup we've had in in years uh, in FootJoy. And there's a tremendous amount of excitement around our brand. Uh, you know, from a footwear standpoint, to our apparel, to our gloves. You know, we're 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 hitting uh, hitting on all all cylinders here, and uh, and and really just enjoying the ride uh, and going to work every day. You know, well, this is this yeah, is right. <laughs> this is my office now. Uh, but 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 having the opportunity to to continue to to innovate, even though you know we're apart for for a lot of the time, we've still got a great team. Uh, we communicate better than we ever have because we have to because we don't. Mm -hmm have the ability to walk down the hall to, you know, the developer or the designer's office and, and, and connect. So we, we found new ways to connect. We're communicating better than ever before. And I think uh, the, you know, the idea generation that that's coming out of Brockton and all the things that we have planned for the future, it's the future is bright for us. Uh, and we're going to continue to, to, to make sure that we, we keep our foot on the gas here and, uh, and have exciting year after exciting year. I know we're, we're putting to bed, uh, uh, our line for 22 now, uh, 
wow. you know, and 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 starting work on uh, and we've already got work. You know, we're already fast at work on technologies for twenty four and beyond. So it's uh, it's a fun fun place to work. And these guys just don't stop, listeners. I mean, once again, we're talking to Keith Duffy, is the senior product manager over at FootJoy Footwear. And you guys know who they are. Go out to footjoy.com. Uh, check out everything that we've been talking about today. Go pick up some Hyperflex. Go pick up the new Premier Series. They are absolutely fantastic. And as I keep saying this, I can't wait to get back on to the golf course and wearing these. And I'll let you know how they are. And I'm sure they're going to not disappoint. So Keith, I really appreciate you coming on to tell us a little bit about yourself as well as what you got coming out. Appreciate